To remove the access panel, first loosen the captured Phillips number 2 screw at the rear of the panel that secures the panel to the PC. Grasp the handle of the panel and pull towards the back of the PC to release the panel. Pull the panel away from the PC. The access panel has several tabs on its top, bottom, and leading edges, which fit into slots and over the front lip of the PC. To replace the panel, align the tabs on the panel over the corresponding slots on the PC, then slide the panel forward to lock it into position. Tighten the captured Phillips number 2 screw to secure the panel to the PC. To remove the front bezel, first remove the access panel. Unlatch the three side tabs of the front bezel and rotate the bezel away from the PC. The front bezel has three tabs on each side. which fit into six slots on the PC. To replace the front bezel, align the tabs on the left side of the bezel into the slots on the PC, then rotate the bezel into position. Snap it firmly into place. To replace the system fan, first remove the access panel. Next, detach the fan connector to the motherboard. Remove the two Phillips number 2 screws that attach the fan to the rear of the PC. Keep your hand on the fan as you remove the last screw to keep it from falling, and pull the fan out of the PC. There are two small guides on the rear inside of the PC that help align the system fan into place. To replace the system fan, align the fan so that it is blowing outward. The label on the fan should be facing out of the system. Reattach the fan connector to the motherboard first to ensure correct alignment in the unit. Align the bottom edge of the fan over the guides and align the screw holes on the fan with the screw holes on the rear of the PC. Secure the fan to the rear of the PC with its two Phillips number 2 screws. To remove the optical drive cage, first remove the access panel, the front bezel, and the optical drive. In some units, you may need to remove the hard drive cage as well. Detach the three silver Torx head screws at the front of the PC that secure the optical drive cage to the PC. Slide the cage towards the top of the unit and pull the cage out of the unit. The optical drive cage has four tabs at the front. To remove the hard drive cage, First, remove the access panel. Disconnect the power and data connectors from the hard drive. Detach the three black Torx head screws that secure the hard drive cage to the PC. Slide the cage towards the inside of the unit. Swing out the inside edge of the cage until the cage is perpendicular to the PC and pull the cage out of the unit. The hard drive cage has guide posts at the top and bottom that slide into slots on the top and bottom of the PC. To replace the hard drive cage, align the posts into their slots. Swing the inside edge of the hard drive cage down while sliding the cage forward 
until the cage is correctly seated. Replace the three black Torx head screws to secure the hard drive cage to the PC. Connect the power and data connectors to the hard drive. To remove the 3.5 inch hard drive, first remove the access panel and the hard drive cage. Detach the four silver Torx head screws that secure the 3.5 inch drive to the hard drive cage. Pull the hard drive cage off of the hard drive. To install a 3.5 inch hard drive, Position the hard drive spindle up on a table. Place the hard drive cage onto the drive, aligning the screw holes on the drive with the screw holes marked A on the hard drive cage. Secure the hard drive to the drive cage with its four silver Torx head screws. To remove the optical drive cage, First, remove the access panel, the front bezel, and the optical drive. In some units, you may need to remove the hard drive cage as well. Detach the three silver Torx head screws at the front of the PC that secure the optical drive cage to the PC. Slide the cage towards the top of the unit and pull the cage out of the unit. The optical drive cage has four tabs at the front that slide into slots on the front of the PC. To replace the optical drive cage, align the tabs into their slots. Slide the cage down until the tabs are fully engaged in the slots. Replace the three silver Torx head screws to secure the optical drive cage to the PC. To remove the wireless LAN antennas, first remove the access panel and the front bezel. Detach the antennas from the wireless LAN card. Pull the antennas out to the front of the unit through their access hole. Remove the antennas from the cable guides on the front face of the PC. Carefully pry off each antenna's adhesive. Slide the antenna up and remove the antenna from the PC. There is a small tab at the top and bottom edges of each antenna that fit over small cutouts at the front of the PC. Each antenna is labeled 1 or 2. There are 1 and 2 stencils on the front of the PC to indicate the location of each antenna. To replace the antennas, align each antenna's tabs over their cutouts in their stenciled location. Slide the antenna down and press the adhesive onto the front of the PC.
place the antennas into their cable guides on the front of the PC. Feed the antennas into the inside of the unit through their access hole. Reattach the antennas to the wireless LAN board. The antenna connectors are labeled 1 and 2 and should be attached to the corresponding numbered ports on the board. To replace the wireless LAN board, first remove the access panel. In some units you may also need to remove the drive cage for access to the board. Detach the wireless LAN antennas from the wireless LAN board. Detach the Phillips number 1 screw for the wireless LAN board. The board will pop up. Remove the board. There is a notch on the side edge of the wireless LAN board that aligns over a key in the wireless LAN board socket on the motherboard. To replace the wireless LAN board, align the board at a 30 degree angle into its socket, engaging the notch on the board with its socket key. Press the board down. Hold it down while replacing the Phillips number one screw. Replace the wireless antennas to the wireless LAN board. The antennas are labeled 1 and 2 and should be attached to the corresponding numbered ports on the board label. To remove the power supply, First, remove the access panel, the front bezel, the optical drive, the hard drive cage, and the optical drive cage. Detach the two power supply connectors to the motherboard. Note that each connector has a latch that must be squeezed to detach the connector. Free the 4-pin power supply connector from the heat sink screw post area if it is rooted through the heat sink, or untape it from the chassis wall. Free the power connectors from the cable guides on the side wall of the PC. Next, detach the four Torx head screws that connect the power supply to the PC. Press the latch at the inside edge of the power supply in the unit and slide the power supply into the PC before fully removing it from the unit. Always replace the entire power supply. Never attempt to work within the power supply unit. There are guides inside the PC that indicate the position of the power supply. There is also a latch on the inside of the PC that helps secure the power supply to the PC. To replace the power supply, align the power supply within the guides with the AC port aligned towards the side wall of the PC. Then slide the power supply towards the rear of the unit until it locks into place next to the latch. 
reattach the four Torx head screws at the rear of the chassis to secure the power supply. Replace the power connectors into the cable guides on the side wall of the PC. Route the four pin power supply connector through the screw posts of the heat sink. or tape it to the wall of the PC. Reconnect the power supply connectors to the motherboard. To remove the power switch, first remove the access panel, the front bezel, the optical drive, the hard drive cage, and the optical drive cage. Detach the power switch connector from the motherboard. Free the connectors from the cable guides on the side and front wall of the PC. Press hard on the left side of the power switch to disengage the hooked tab on that side. Then pull the power switch and its connectors out the front of the unit. The power switch has hooked tabs on both sides that fit into small cutouts at the front of the chassis. To reinstall the power switch, first feed the connector in through its access hole at the front of the unit. Align the right side tab into its cutout then squeeze and press the left hooked tab into its cutout until the power switch is secure. Secure the connectors for the power switch into its cable guides on the side wall of the PC. Reattach the power switch connector to the motherboard. To remove the front I.O. panel, first remove the access panel and the front bezel. In some units, you may also need to remove the optical drive, the hard drive cage, and the optical drive cage. 
Detach the front I.O. connectors from the motherboard. Depending on the motherboard installed, free the front I.O. connectors from the plastic cable guide on the side wall of the PC or the metal cable guides on the side wall of the PC. Detach the four Torx head screws that secure the front I.O. to the front of the unit. Pull the front I.O. panel and its connectors out the front of the unit. The front I.O. panel has a tab at its bottom edge that aligns behind the bottom of the cutout at the front of the chassis for correct placement. There are also two small cutouts on the front I.O. panel that align over small locator pegs at the front of the PC. To reinstall the front I.O. panel, first feed the front I.O. connectors in through the cutout at the front of the unit. Align the bottom tab of the front I.O. panel behind the cutout and press the front I.O. panel into place. Secure the front I.O. panel to the PC with its four Torx head screws. Secure the connectors for the front I.O. into their plastic cable guide on the side wall of the PC or the metal cable guides on the side wall depending on the motherboard installed in the unit. Reattach the connectors that run from the front I.O. panel to the motherboard. To replace system memory, first remove the access panel. Simultaneously push down on the clips on either side of the DDR4 dim socket to release the memory module. Carefully pull out the memory module. There is one notch on the bottom of every DDR4 DIMM module, offset from the center, that fits over a tab in the DDR4 DIMM memory socket. When installing DDR4 DIMMs, align the notch on the module with the tab in the socket. Press the module into the socket until the clips on both sides of the socket lock into place. To remove a PCI Time 16 graphics card if present in the unit, first remove the access panel. Detach the Torx head screw for the expansion card retaining bracket. Pull the bracket off of the unit. Push down on the latch for the graphics card slot on the motherboard if removing a full size card. Carefully pull the card out of the unit. To replace a PCI X16 graphics card, carefully align and push the card into its slot on the motherboard until it is fully seated. The expansion card retaining bracket has a tab that aligns into a slot on the rear of the PC. To replace the bracket, slide the tab into its slot. Secure the bracket with its Torx head screw. To remove the heatsink from a unit with a full-sized Intel CPU-based motherboard, first remove the access panel. Disengage the 4-pin power supply connector from the screw posts area of the heatsink if it is rooted through the heatsink area or untape it if it is taped to the inside wall of the PC. Detach the heatsink fan connector from the motherboard. Loosen the four captured Torx head screws for the heatsink. Gently pull the heatsink out of the PC. 
Before replacing the heat sink into the system, first clean off the old thermal grease from the microprocessor. as well as from the heat sink. Apply new thermal grease or a thermal pad to the microprocessor. Replace the heat sink connector to the motherboard first to ensure correct positioning of the heat sink. Tighten the Ford Torx head heat sink screws. Route the power supply 4 pin connector back around the inside of the heat sink screw posts if it was routed through the heat sink area at removal or tape it to the wall of the PC. To remove the heat sink from units with a micro ATX AMD CPU based motherboard, first remove the access panel and the motherboard. Detach the heatsink fan connector to the motherboard. Squeeze the four posts for the heatsink on the underside of the motherboard using pliers to release each post while pulling out on the heatsink. Pull the heatsink off of the motherboard. Before replacing the heatsink into the system, first clean off the old thermal grease from the microprocessor as well as from the heatsink. Apply new thermal grease or a thermal pad to the microprocessor. To replace the heatsink, Press the spring-loaded posts into their holes on the motherboard until the bottom pokes through the bottom side of the motherboard and they are secure. Replace the heat sink fan connector to the motherboard. To remove the CPU in a unit with an Intel CPU based motherboard, first remove the access panel and the heat sink. Press down to release the CPU load lever from its retention tab and pull the load lever and load plate away from the socket. Identify pin 1 on the socket by the mark on the corner of the socket stencil. Line up the pin 1 corner of the Intel CPU removal replacement tool over the socket. Press down on the plunger of the removal tool to pick up the CPU from the socket and remove the tool and the CPU from the motherboard. To replace the CPU, first identify pin 1 position on the microprocessor by noting the yellow mark on the corner of the chip assembly. Make sure the Intel CPU staging tool side pins are set to the correct socket type for the CPU. For this unit, it is LGA1151. Place the CPU into the Intel CPU staging tool. When correctly inserted, the small notches on the side of the CPU should align over the side pins on the staging tool. Place the removal replacement tool over the stage, lining up the pin 1 triangles on each tool. Press down on the removal replacement tool to pick the CPU up from the stage. 
Align the removal replacement tool again to pin one on the motherboard CPU socket. Press the plunger on the removal replacement tool to release the CPU into the socket. Swing the load plate down. Lock the load lever under its retaining tab to secure the microprocessor into place. CMOS factory settings should be restored as a first step before replacing the system motherboard. To restore CMOS factory settings, first remove the access panel. Remove the battery from the motherboard. Wait 30 seconds. Replace the battery to the motherboard. CMOS factory settings are now reset. Note that you will now need to enter system BIOS and reset the clock in BIOS after this procedure. To remove the motherboard, first remove the access panel. Remove the front bezel, the optical drive, the hard drive cage, and the optical drive cage. Remove system memory and the wireless LAN board. Remove the PCI x16 graphics card if installed in the unit. Remove the heatsink and the CPU. When removing the Intel CPU, install a socket cover on the load plate window before replacing the load plate over the socket. Detach all connectors to the motherboard. Remove the four Torx head screws that attach the motherboard to the PC. Carefully pull out the motherboard. Place the motherboard in an anti-static bag. To replace the motherboard, carefully place the motherboard in the unit, clearing connectors away from underneath the sides of the board and aligning the back panel connectors with their cutouts on the rear of the chassis. Replace the four Torx head screws to secure the motherboard to the unit. Replace all connectors to the motherboard. To remove the motherboard from units with a micro ATX AMD CPU based motherboard installed, first remove the access panel. Remove system memory. And the wireless LAN board. Detach all connectors to the motherboard. Remove the four Torx head screws that attach the motherboard to the PC. Carefully pull out the motherboard. Remove the heat sink from the motherboard after the motherboard is removed from the unit. Place the motherboard in an anti-static bag. To install a micro ATX AMD motherboard, first replace the heatsink to the motherboard while the motherboard is still out of the unit. Carefully place the motherboard in the unit clearing connectors away from underneath the sides of the board, and aligning the back panel connectors with their cutouts on the rear of the chassis. 
Replace the four Torx head screws to secure the motherboard to the unit. Replace all connectors to the motherboard. 